they all came out for a different reason. I've always wanted to go and try and play wheelchair basketball. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, the two guys that are actually in chairs, kind of working with the guys that aren't in chairs. They all came for their own personal reasons, but they all came to share a special moment, to participate in USC's second annual wheelchair basketball tournament. Put on by the USC student government, the wheelchair basketball tournament brought both able body and handicapped students out for a day of fun and give some students a different perspective on life. But realizing that it's the little things that we might take for granted in life, um, and I think that this really puts it in perspective for you. The tournament consisted of six teams playing two 10-minute halves, but before playing each game, the teams were refreshed on the rules. You have to dribble. So yes, you have to dribble. The main difference is it's two pushes for one dribble. So you don't have to maintain a consistent dribble. And there are travels, but a travel would be if you just kept pushing your chair without dribbling. After two pushes, it's considered a travel. So three pushes without dribbling is a, is a travel. The tournament was started last year by former USG Vice President Jordan Fowler, but is now being taken over by current USG Vice President Austin Dunn, a job he considers to be an honor and a privilege. I took this project on with Jordan last year. It's one of my favorite events of the year. While the tournament was meant to be somewhat competitive and even saw an eventual champion, players and students simply came out to have fun. It should be a really fun time again. Uh, on a team with a lot of my friends, so that's always fun too. I'm standing right outside the Galen Center right now as the tournament is just about to end. Once again this year it was another success and I'm sure they'll bring the tournament back next year. For Annenberg Media, I'm Jeffrey Dubroff.